the population of black rhinos in Africa is down nearly 98% since 1960. As many as 35,000 African elephants were killed last year alone. And the mountain gorilla is now critically endangered. The cause? Poachers. But thanks to thermal imaging camera systems, these hunters have now become the hunted. This is Light Matters for December 2016. I'm your host, Justine Murphy. Illegal hunting of animals in Africa has for decades threatened the existence of a number of species, from elephants and tortoises to antelope, tigers, and too many more. Work by organizations worldwide has helped to curb this devastating practice, but now FLIR Systems and the World Wildlife Fund have joined forces to stop poachers once and for all. Stay tuned for more on this later in the show. Also this month, we'll learn how a parrotlet named Obi is helping with development of robots and next generation drones. We'll look at the 2017 PRISM Award finalists and see what's in store for the January issue of Photonic Spectra as we embark on a celebration of 50 years. Aviator goggles on a tiny bird in flight is adorable. But for Obi, it's also practical. His new job as a member of the research group at Stanford University exposes him to new laser light. The team trained Obi to assist with its study of birds' ability to generate enough lift to fly and to better understand how these animals support their weight during flight. As birds are able to take off swiftly, fly fast and far, and navigate turbulence around trees and buildings, they are ideal subjects of study relating to the advancement of drones and other flying robots. In fact, optics and photonics are everywhere in this study. Donning tiny goggles made from human laser safety goggle lenses, 3D printed sockets, and veterinary tape, Obi flew from one perch to another in a specially designed wind tunnel through an ultra-fast laser sheet that illuminated non-toxic, micron-sized aerosol particles. As the bird passed through the lasers, his wing motion disturbed the particles to generate a detailed record of the airflow created by the flight. Specifically, the particles swirled off Obi's wingtips, sort of similar to how an airplane's takeoff produces contrails. With high-speed cameras that recorded the airflow at about 1,000 frames per second, this process created the clearest picture to date of the wake left by a flying animal. The measurements recorded in the study were applied to widely accepted research models that are employed to interpret the airflow generated by flying animals, including the kuta zhukowski theorem, which is a fundamental theorem of aerodynamics, as well as a vortex ring model and an actuator disk model. Three different estimates of the amount of lift the bird generated with each wing beat were then created. Based on the current information, the researchers say they expected Obi's wings to produce smooth, round vortices. The movement instead prompted a more aggressive effect, showing that the models actually failed to predict the lift generated by the bird's wake. According to the Stanford team, new models and methods will be needed to more accurately study animal flight. Photonics West 2017 is just around the corner, bringing together photonics industry players and academia from around the world. This is also the time each year when we honor innovation through the Oscars of the photonics industry, the PRISM Awards. Co-sponsored by SPIE and Photonics Media, these awards recognize the industry's top companies and products. This year's finalists were chosen from among hundreds of entries. From a breathalyzer device that allows rapid screening of infectious diseases to a new optical component technology that can sense nanovibrations of the body with very high precision, the competition is fierce. The award categories cover all things photonic, with three finalists chosen for each of nine categories. The winners are announced during a ceremony at Photonics West. Among the finalists are Continuous Biometrics New Optiphone, Newbeam Flat Top Fiber Technology from Newfern, and Sora Laser's LaserLite SMD system, all in the Optics and Optical Components category. In the Industrial Lasers category, Amplitude Systems Tangor 100 Watt Compact Ultrafast Laser is a finalist, as are Photonics Industry International's RGH Series Pulse Picker Laser, and an ultra-short pulsed cedar for fiber lasers from QD Laser. You can learn more about these and all of the finalists at photonics.com. Numerous animal species across the African landscape are in danger of extinction as a result of decades of illegal hunting. 
As many as 35,000 African elephants were killed by poachers last year alone, according to the African Wildlife Foundation, while less than 1,000 mountain gorillas remain in existence. Poachers sneak through the dead of night in search of these animals, with the goal of collecting parts such as fur, skin, ivory, bones, and horns. The road to stopping this devastating practice has been a long one, but now the World Wildlife Fund, or WWF, in conjunction with FLIR systems, is making some headway. FLIR said it is contributing to the effort with its thermal security cameras, as well as those that are handheld, shorter and longer range, and designed for outdoor use. WWF originally contacted the company in its ongoing exploration of illegal hunting prevention tactics. The thermal IR cameras are able to detect people in complete darkness, as well as in conditions like fog. Some of the systems are even able to detect at a range of up to a full mile. The FLIR cameras were installed throughout the Mara Conservancy in Kenya earlier this year, and the WWF is now using them exclusively for their anti-poaching patrols. FLIR's Tim McDowd told Photonics Media that at this point, the cameras have helped catch 90% of the poachers they see. Close to 100 illegal hunters have been apprehended and arrested at Mara. McDowd notes that the next step will be to incorporate some of the thermal imaging technology into drones for testing in Malawi and Zimbabwe. Ultimately, the FLIR technology will be installed in more than 20 sites across Africa and in Asia. In January, Photonic Spectra launches a celebration of its 50th anniversary. And to mark the occasion, we're bringing our readers a special gold foil commemorative edition. Inside, we excerpt Teddy Lauren's original editorial from 1967, in which she affirmed, Here in this one spot, we are involved with one pursuit, spreading a glimpse of optics to an area that is engaged in its many facets. It's a mission that legions of editors throughout the years have sought to uphold, chronicling the evolution of an industry from nascent technology to 21st century applications and advances. Fittingly, our commemorative issue also includes a feature by longtime contributor and former Photonic Spectra Advisory Board member Bruce Walker. His article offers a retrospective look at the stereoscopic optical designs of yesteryear, while presenting a new one for use in today's virtual reality headsets. By the way, Walker's first piece appeared in Optical Spectra, as it was then called, in 1968. But as much as the January issue marks the magazine's rich history, it also looks to the future, with a series of articles on the transformative effect photonic integrated circuits are set to have on data centers, medicine, and aerospace. Finally, don't miss our preview of the finalist of this year's PRISM Awards. And that's it for this month's show. Connect with us on social media and visit photonics.com for magazine subscriptions, podcasts, webinars, and the latest, most comprehensive industry news. From all of us here at Photonics Media, happy holidays and a prosperous 2017. And until next year, keep following the photons. <laughs>